Previously on Oxenfree. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? I don't know He's how... He's my stepbrother. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. My brother Michael died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Whatever. She never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What? is it? What's doing it? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Jonas! <laughs> don't! Jonas! Jonas! Jonas, are you alright? Shout if you're, like, bleeding or something. Didn't you hear <sighs> me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. What are you even doing? I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? I can't even, like, what is, what? Is it, it, what? Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were dead for a minute. Uh, what happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there. But the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but the party just kind of pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? 
I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to come clean is- Christ, I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, all right? I have a splitting headache and like, I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Where's everyone else? Ren and Clarissa. I have no idea. I don't know if they even know that anything happened. Okay, so, uh, there was a- last time, there was a light, and now- Uh, don't touch that, please. I'd really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. This all seems a little much, right? Like it's just a rusty old communications tower, they're not keeping dinosaurs in here. Maybe some kids climbed it drunk, fell off, and died. I don't know, but it's here, so... don't touch. Okay. So, now what the hell is happening? Last time there were some lights and we were underwater for a second? What? I am so fucking lost right now. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think, because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> uh, the dialogue is great. <laughs> that is funny, though. Major Dick Harden. <laughs> Poor bastard. Do, 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 do. Okay, we gotta get up to this tower, and we gotta call for help, and then we gotta try and find Rend, who's probably, like, stoned out of his freaking mind. And we gotta try to find Nona and the other chick. View. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? Probably the same thing as us. Transmogrified or whatever to some other part of the island. Great. Oh, God. Um... So... Hmm. The cleaning guy should probably lock this before he leaves. His stupidity is our gain. Yeah. Let's unlock this door. Ooh. Lights. How does this thing... Let's try the phone. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nope. <laughs> I like how I'll... Ah! Oh, Jesus. Jesus! Uh... Hello? Alex? Alex? Is that you? Ren? Ren? Oh, Jesus, Hoppin, Christ, thank Vishnu. I, you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I, I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> it's still funny. Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's, it's a code written on this list here. 
But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON Fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like worse than Kendall's basement horrible. Why? How did you get all the way out there? Did you just take off sprinting when I went after Jonas? No, like I said, I must have like passed out or I don't know how I ended up here. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something, or they do like check-ins maybe. What's that sound? Is there a cat crying in there? Ren, Wait, just- Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa? And Jonas is with you. Of course he is. I'm in the comm tower, Clarissa. Where are you? I... I don't know. I'm somewhere in Fort Milner. I don't know why. I... I don't remember, like, the last hour. I'm trying to call somebody, but I'm in a room with radio stuff that can... It says it can contact Kamina, but I don't... I have no idea how to make it work. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if you guys want to stay. I just yeah, want to... Yeah, sure. We'll be over there in a minute. Okay, just hurry, okay? There's, like... I don't know. I'm hearing stuff outside. Fort Milner looked huge on the map. Do you know where the... And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the... Ren, are you still there? Yeah, I guess that'd be too easy. You told Clarissa we're coming, so want to truck over to Milner first? See about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Ren sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Clarissa has a walkie-talkie, so Ren can just sweat it out for an hour. Sound logic. Not really a perfect plan, but what the hell. I don't want to go after Clarissa first, but if I don't, she might not let me hear the end of it. I care more about Ren than I do about Clarissa. I'm just gonna be honest and say that out loud. Help Clarissa. Go to the U.S. Army Rex. Alright. Alright, let's figure out how to turn off this electrified fence. Kickstart this rescue mission like the, uh, total badasses we are. We're just gonna walk through what amounts to a park to pick up some frightened children, Jonas. Don't yeah. get mad at yourself. <laughs> act as if. That's all I'm gonna say. Act as if. Warning, do not use aboard ship unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kinda interesting, really. You know, normally. <laughs> you don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? Sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Why would you think I said Whore Island? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Is, um, is anyone there? It's, um, dead. Did you get anyone? I think someone was there, but I don't know. Huh. Weird. Fence should be off now. Great, but um, don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Well, I will, and have taken offense at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. <laughs> Yep. All right. Let's go. I should have gone after Rin. He has that stupid brownie. He's probably losing his freaking mind right now. Oh well. It's too late to double back now. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to collect all of our friends, 
get them to this tower and find a way off this island. At the very least, just stay here until the ferry comes back. Well, that's what I would do in this situation. I would just hide in the tower until the ferry came back. Let's go. Controlling this is a little awkward. I'm using a controller just so we're all on the same page. Fence is off. Alright, let's go. Empathy Fields. What the hell is happening on this island? How are you, uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know? So, yeah. just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are, they are. How are you? I'm doing fine too. Fine and dandy. Good talk. <laughs> Good talk. Uh, how do I pull out my map? No, that's the pause button. Map. That's the radio. Map. Okay, so I have to go through Epiphany Field. It's not Empathy Field, it's Epiphany Field. And go to the Tawi Woods? I'm thinking that that's what that says. And let's see, where do I go from there? Jesus, I this map is not very precise. We really should have gone for Ren right now. He's he's probably freaking the hell out right now. Okay, we'll try to figure it out. Let's get a lay of the land around here first. Miller Outpost, Harden. Or, hang on. Oh, yeah, we are heading the right direction. Fuck. Okay, let's go. Fort Miller. Huh? What is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in dire straits, actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Ed. Yeah, uh, co considering the circumstances, that's fair enough. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? I think if they had alien autopsies or... Whatever you're suggesting is happening in there, we'd have been taken out by snipers about 50 paces back. Maybe. But listen, like, what if... Just, what if all the stuff that's, like, happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is, like, the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some, um, experimental, uh, program or something, and we've been catching, like, little slivers? Sure. I mean, I'm... Kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on, so... Yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's just my going premise right now, so... I don't know. Keep a tally. See that sign? They were originally gonna make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. It's just my going premise right now, so...
Oh, what's this down here? Firing range. Spooky. Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a a snub nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. Yeah. <laughs> Door. And it's locked. It's locked because of course it's locked. Why 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 wouldn't it be locked? If it was unlocked, it would be way easier. Restricted. Keep out. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Oh, well, they're not messing around. Does the fine print say something about being shot? Yeah, that sign's old. Like, back when we were fighting Nazis old. Yeah. Still, it's a little disconcerting. I guess. Let's, uh... Go up here, I guess. That light. For some reason, it reminds me of the cave. Oh, no. If that's the case, then, uh... Oh god! Dinner time! It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Uh Alright, I know the answer is no, but we kinda do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio men for the door. Sure. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> um. Is there anything else else here? Nope. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna listen to cartoons, thank you. I've heard radios do that sometimes, They're really late at night they play, uh, television programming over the radios. It's sort of like, a uh, audio programming. What's over here? Miller Outpost. That way. Okay. Um. Shit. Guess we should probably find Clarissa anyway. We really should have got for Ren first. He's probably freaking the hell out right now. Let's go in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Don't be locked. Come on. Oh, uh, really? Yes, really. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Um, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but, you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. What sort of thing? What do you mean? You know, like... Intense, I guess, is the word I'm trying to find. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? Just, what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start. There must have been something. Right? Right? It's not a trick question, Jonas. 
She's been the homecoming queen every year since she grew boobs. And he'd been the captain of every sports team he'd ever played on. It was practically an arranged marriage. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. What's your type? Blonde, right? Nose ring? No, no. Tall, brunette, maybe a big hat, red raincoat, lots of mystique, been around the world. Somebody like that. You're describing Carmen San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, that <laughs> kind of explains a lot. <laughs> uh, can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kind of, I don't know, kind of morbid. Yeah, it's, it's just strange to see it like this. It weirdly looks like they just packed up and left. So yeah, it is weird. It, it looks like they they didn't finish what they were doing and they just sort of packed up and left. In a hurry, they didn't bother to grab everything. That's really weird. Stuff like this, I always thought it was pretty. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil, you know? Yeah. Well, right now it just looks like scary tentacles, so... <laughs> In the daytime, this is pretty much skater mecca. I can tell. At night, it's fairly freaking terrifying. What's over here? U.S. Army RCS. Okay, that's where we want to go. I mean, if you want, we can, we can check up here. But that door there is our goal. Hey, that's... Clarissa! Clarissa, hold up! Wait. Jonas, what happened? Are, are you alright? Wait, that wasn't Clarissa. Jonas, let me in! I'm not in the mood! Oh, no. Oh no, we've been separated. I'm gonna check the radio again. Nothing. Let me guess, that door down there is locked? Nah, it's not locked. Uh, we should have headed through there first. This mirror is weirdly intact. Oh! Nothing on the radio. Lights! Turn on the lights! Testing, testing. Um, okay. I can't... I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. The door opened, like, a second ago. Can't you... Are you sure you're just not turning the knob the right way, or... I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Uh, there's a poster on the wall. Ow. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. Oh! Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... 
Wait, what? And, I mean, you saw Clarissa too, right? Like, that wasn't just me, because there's, like, nothing in here. There's no way she could have, like, there's no back. You know, I never wanted to be a DJ, and this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like, just giving opinions. I wouldn't know what to say, really. I wouldn't want to do it anyway. It'd be like a slow, horrible death by anxiety or something, talking to all those listeners. And they have to get up at, like, 3 a.m., right? Those guys, those those talk radio guys, to start at, like, 5? I'd be, I'd be, like, the late night, like, the, the late night old rock guy. And they'd, like, keep me on the books to, like, you know, point out for credibility. Hey, we don't just play the pop crap. We got Mummy on from midnight to oh, two, and he sometimes plays Bad Fingers. So what's your problem? Okay, well, whenever you're ready to, tell me how to get out of here. Just go ahead and yell it. Thank you. I'm just trying to find the radio frequency. That poster behind me clearly states that I, I need to use this radio somehow to unlock the thing. Okay, what there we go. just happened? Cause that, that sucked. It's a, I guess, a one-way lock? I just wish one thing would work here like anything works out in the real world. Yeah. That'd be nice. Oh, here's a padlock code. 3418. It's on a list of, huh, they call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo, so great. Hey, did I, did, did you see that? In, in the mirror? The reflection was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but my reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that... It seems alright now. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't anything. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I could see why you'd be skeptic. Is this what you were talking to me on? Yep. Old girl did the trick. Do you think maybe, uh, Clarissa was using this before? You know, to call us and everything? I guess there might be another comm room or something. It was locked, remember? How could she have gotten in? Same way I did. But then I don't really know how she could have gotten out. Huh. This whole thing is weird. This weird. Uh... Three, four, eighteen, and voila. Who's that? I don't know. Okay, just making sure. <sighs> I'm just gonna pretend it didn't happen, so. Let's just carry on. Yeah. Let's go find her. This is so weird. What is happening? Oh, God. Well, that's menacing. I don't like that. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd, you know. Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. This is... If the knight needed a capper, this is it. Right here. My vagrant new stepbrother. Peeing on a rat. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not. Be quieter. It's like louder than the rainstorm. I know the uh, acoustics are really carrying it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Okay, let's go. Clarissa! Oh! Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back! We came to help you, don't... Ugh. Hello? Is this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out or... Wait, I can... Ugh, oh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not... Oh, man, maybe God, she didn't see anybody... us. I don't know, but... Whatever, she still has a radio, so we still got to get to her. He volunteered for the submarine service. That's a classy poster. Okay, let's go. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. Yeah, that's probably it. Oh! What was that? You... you heard that, right? Something just fell. Relax. I'm sure a bird landed on a piece of loose masonry or something. Probably. It's not opening. <sighs> Clarissa! Man, when we catch up, I'm gonna tear... It's gonna be limb from limb. It's gonna be like she wasn't wearing seatbelts when I'm finished with her. God! Okay, all right, I know, she's a hoot. We can't leave until she shows us where that radio is. I know it's annoying, but it's our only hope for getting us out of here so far. Wait, that light on the ceiling... Shit. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Uh. What is it doing? Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like, a test? Uh... Hey, why are we being tested? What did we do? Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School we're standing in? The school we're standing in... Oh, God, um... Oh shit, I didn't study! I didn't know there'd be a test! Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just like a, a fort. Seven. Uh, Fort Milner, right? I mean, that's not a. Nope, that's not it. Our Damn friends it. are finding this tough. Oh, God! I don't care, just don't we hurt- We don't hurt playmates. Oh, Jesus. What is going on? Ugh, I feel like I'm stuck on a tilt-a-whirl. Um, The screen's upside down! Just keep the pointer on the button. Question two. Oh, shit! What did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes? I remember this one. Who Ten. would know that? This isn't World War Nine. II. Nobody calls anything anything Eight. anymore. Seven. You'd call codes cookies? There. Yeah. Now you're cooking. Coded radio transmitters have an important job, and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right. <laughs> We are an island race, and through all our times the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. Jonas, are, are you, uh, oh God. doing okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Benzo's ready. 
how many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? Ten. The other ships. Nine. Above all Eight. victories, beyond all loss. Seven. In spite of changing values in the changing world. Fifty-three? I think. You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Oh, no. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Canaloa. Eighty-five officers, twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. Here I am. I didn't need to get that far. Just my mom out to sit in the charge. This is a kid. Oh my god, it's so creepy! Um... I didn't need to get that far. There we go. State submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Uh, why? Why are you testing me? Testing us? I don't know what me being good at trivia is. Everyone must test before enlistment. Enlistment. Rules. You know. Enlist in what? What do you mean? In the army? Who? What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. What? I... that was... not fun. Are you... feeling... better? I'm feeling... let's start with that. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Uh... Trying to go. Okay, there we go. Okay, where do we go now? Okay, we can't go through there. I guess we're going back up. There's another... There's another way in. Hang on, am I supposed to go up there? Or am I supposed to keep going through here?
Oh, there we go. Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um... What? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh god, she's been taken. She's been taken by the weird creepy shadow guy that we saw earlier in the po in the picture. Cross your fingers. <sighs> Clarissa. Oh my god, you actually came. I mean, it did take you long enough, but still. Good. I've been sitting fumbling around with this stuff. I don't know how to work this crap. Um, are you all right? I mean, yeah. Why? Yeah, sure, my hair might be a little weird, but there's not a lot I can do about that. You just sounded really distressed, that's all. Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm fine now, so... All right, where's this famous radio? I don't know, I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Uh, sure, I'll do my best. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low-frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't... I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, 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 isn't there a way... Really officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Uh, wait. What? We already did this. You already said that. Did I? Wait a minute. Clarissa! Is there anything like, can we cut her down with something? Holy crap! <sighs> Holy crap. What is it? Is something wrong? Or not? Whew, just brace yourself, okay? All right. Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Better gone than dead. Oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to... I mean, she got it to kind of work, so we should be home free. Yeah, it it only broadcasts within, the, within a short space. It's not going to do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? Jonas, we're in a loop. We already... Just, it's okay. Knock yourself out. Yeah, don't, don't, uh, it's kind of a waste of time explaining that to him. Uh, tape player. Okay, don't know what I'm doing. I hope I'm doing it right. I don't think I'm doing it right. What is it I'm supposed to be doing here? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I have no clue what the hell I was doing there. But I know I'm supposed to do something with that. So what are we like bending time and space? Is that is that what's happening? Clarissa. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank God, Clarissa. We saw... Uh, I saw you... Alex, don't worry. What is I'll the never matter forget with her? That I am an American, fighting for freedom, responsible for my actions. 
There will be other ships. Oh god, she's out on the window! And other souls to sail them. Oh my god! Why would she do that? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're, oh, God! She, she was, she was like possessed. I, I, I just, I, I just, uh, this is, Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't, I don't even know what to, we, we should get to the others. I, I can't even imagine telling them, or, or how to tell them, I'm, Telling them, I just want to. We have to round them up before anything else, before anything like this. Like, I don't. E I don't even know what happened here, Jonas. If it's, if they're thinking of doing the same thing, we'll, we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Holy crap! I did not see that coming at all. That was like a- that was not a small fall, that was a three-story drop! Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw what happened, that was- Oh my- <gasps> Thank Christ, she's alive! Maybe she just- Maybe she just twisted her- Twisted something, or Alex, even if she fell feet first, she would have broken every bone in her body. How'd she just get up and walk away? This is impossible. Because unless she's built of rubber. Hallucination? Dual hysteria? I, I don't I don't know, Jonas. Well, regardless. Good news. Yeah, we'll see. Uh let's get the hell out of here! My God, this is a fascinating game.